I think this has scarred me from camping. So last year, me and my friends, I'm going to refer to them as Justin and Liam for privacy reasons of this story. So last year, me and my friends packed our bags, got in our truck, and went camping. Immediately, when we got there, we started looking up places to set up base. Eventually, we found a place. William went, went to go find wood, while me and Justin just stayed at, at the campsite. I was strangely hearing footsteps near the, our campsite. It wasn't supposed to be Liam because he wasn't supposed to be back for a while. He said he was going to get a lot of wood. So we started looking around to see what we would find. And we unfortunately didn't find nothing. Skip forward an hour later, Liam got back. We started a fire and started telling our anonymous ghost stories that are not real. But it was interrupted by footsteps again. Justin called out, who is that? No answer. At this point, we're scared. We don't know what to do. When all of a sudden, ah! we heard the loudest scream we ever heard in our life. We didn't know what to do. We were just sitting there shook. Eventually, we had to call it quits and get in our tents to go to sleep. I woke up somewhere around one in the morning. I had, I could not tell what woke me up, but I was sweating. So I got out of the tent for a second to, to cool down. However, I noticed that our campfire had, had been put out. That was awful, awfully strange because I didn't remember Justin or Liam putting it out. Before we went to sleep, or neither did I. I must think that it just like went out. So that's what I did. I assumed that it just went out. So I got back in my tent. But the moment I felt like I was ready to fall asleep, <coughs> we suddenly heard. Now I'm pretty sure everybody heard the noise. I got out of my tent, looked towards the woods, and I saw a giant black figure there. It was just staring at me. It looked like it was holding a knife. I think my friends heard the noise because I heard Justin say, run. So we already met the truck got in there and slipped for the night. Luckily, that thing didn't come back. In the morning, I questioned what could it have been. They said they never heard or seen anything like that before in their life. Judging by the noises that thing was making, there had to be something wrong with it. It didn't look to be an animal because it was on two legs. This is very scary, and I've been scared to go camping ever since. But for all of you, be careful out there, because you don't know what could be awaiting you in the darkness. I remember about uh, a year ago, I took my son camping. He wasn't that excited about doing it, but... He had nothing to do, so I figured I'd give him something to do. So we got there, and we started looking for a base in the woods. So right when I was teaching my son how to shoot a gun, I was hearing some random noises. And apparently my son was hearing them too. Because he said, Dad, did, they, did you hear that? I couldn't tell. It was like something like whispering or something. I... I didn't really know. 
but we, we continued. And after that, my son said he was hungry, so I was getting a little hungry too. It was around afternoon time. So we decided to eat the sandwiches and chips that we packed. Right after eating, we set up base at somewhere. I wasn't really in the mood to start a campfire and sit by it. So I decided to teach my gun how to shoot a son. Shoot a gun even more. But right as we were doing that, we both heard it. My son was very scared, but I was just confused standing there. Why was someone screaming in the middle of the woods, I thought to myself. I told my son it's time to go to bed, and he agreed. So I went to sleep. But as we, was, as we were sleeping, I heard this. And then all of a sudden, I look over and I see a shadow. Turns out I, I actually did set, set a camp, set up a fire, and through the reflection of the fire, I saw someone standing there. Standing there. I got out, but the person already ran off by then. I grabbed my son and ran, and ran out, out of there. I had no idea what the thing was. I don't know if it was a ghost or if it was a person. But this didn't stop me from camping, though. I still camp to this day, but be careful who you're messing with out there. Because you surely don't know the consequences of anything. Mwahahaha. That was pretty cringy. So when I was eight, me and my family went camping. It only included me, my son, and that's all. So we packed our bags, got in our vehicle, and arrived. Well, apparently, as we was camping, I saw a deer, and I decided to go chase after it. Looking back, I have no idea why I did this, because this is eventually what led scary porn happening. So eventually did you and I looked back and I realized I was lost. I couldn't see my family. I was freaking out. I was only seven. So I was out there for about five minutes and someone comes up to me. He says his name is Paul. And he's my mom's friend, and he's and he heard that I was lost, and he was going to bring me back. Don't ask why, but I actually saw I believed him. So he grabbed me by my hand, he took me, but he wasn't taking me in the direction that I came from, which would be lead lead to me going to my parents. He took me to the direction of the parking lot. I mean, he would give me a lot of candy, and he had a candy in his car out to the park a lot and I saw a black Chevy at this point I heard the screen on mom say give me my son the guy let me go and then sped off my mom ran over me to make sure I was good and, and I told her what he said and she said she did not know that person for, for that one for on that trip I had to stay close trip for doing that but it was very scary what that man would have did if my mom didn't come out in time and he would have got away with me in that in the car who knows what he would have done be careful out there don't don't talk to strangers Okay, so my intro, um, the reason why it was in the front, because my intro didn't fit the video. And also, these aren't real stories, it's just for, you know, for you to listen to. But, they're not real, but, if you guys want me to do real stories, just comment down below. And, and uh, this video gets, uh, 20 likes, 
I'll actually um uh, uh read uh, real stories. So yeah, okay. Peace.